On this video, I'm going to talk about synchronicity. What is synchronicity? What is the Jewish term for synchronicity? And what are my stories pertaining to synchronicity? And who was the first one to use the term synchronicity? I will tell you. My name is Jessica Madden. On my channel here on YouTube, I help people raise their awareness and become very, very successful as a result. I share the great tips and amazing lessons which I picked up throughout my life. And the great tips and amazing lessons which I pick up every single day of my life. Reminding you once again that if you press that subscribe button and you're the 100th subscriber, you will receive from me a free gift. And the shipping of that gift, that will be free on the house. Without further ado, let's get into it. What is synchronicity? In Judaism, synchronicity is called Hashkacha Pratit. Or Hashkacha Elyona, which means a heavenly observation. Or Hashkacha Pratit means a personal observation. A personal supervision is another way of translating Hashkacha Pratit. Or a heavenly supervision. Those are the Jewish terms for it. But what is synchronicity in non-Jewish terms? And what is specifically synchronicity and how does it appear quite different to the Jewish way of relating to it. I will explain. Carl Jung in the 1950s came up with the term synchronicity. He was the first one to use this term. It's been around way before he ever came onto planet Earth. <laughs> Definitely was. But Carl Jung was the first one to talk about it and expand on it. What is synchronicity? Let's get to it. What is synchronicity? I'll give you an example. A couple of days ago, actually I think it was about two weeks ago, I was on the way to the post office. And on the way to the post office, I was texting one of my YouTube subscribers a response to their message pertaining to my video on Parallel Universe. Was texting her, I noticed that I am walking right past the place where I actually filmed that video. I was blown away. I was like, wow. And a very interesting and a very interesting thing happened afterwards. And that was that I was looking for a post box, a mailbox to be able to in England they call it post box. In America we call it the mailbox. I had a very important letter to mail to somebody, to post to somebody. And I couldn't find the mailbox anywhere. But as I was carrying along, I'd seen one synchronicity. But the, as I was carrying along, I couldn't find the post box. But I get to the place I had to go. I had to get to the dentist. I get to the dentist, and right in front of the dentist was a post box, was a mailbox. I was blown away. I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. Synchronicity means, quite literally, when events which appear to be totally unrelated to each other from an observation perspective, from somebody who was not tuned into these things, they, they would most likely not see the amazing element to it. But somebody who's tuned into spirituality will say, wow, this happened exactly at the same time that I was talking about this. When two things happen at the same time, and they appear to be unrelated, but they are related because the universe and God are bringing them for you. That's what synchronicity means. So that was one story I had of synchronicity. Another story I had was today. I was in the middle of looking at an article, an online article about seagulls. And I look up at the TV, Israeli TV actually, and I see seagulls. Was pretty fascinating. Another synchronicity I had was my friend was 
about, I had texted my friend asking her a question and she hadn't responded for a couple hours. And then I was thinking about her because I had some, I found something in my apartment and I was thinking about her. And right when I was thinking about her, she texted me. That's synchronicity. Jews call it hashkacha prate hashkacha which quite literally means observational, um, observational, private observation or superior elevational observation. However, you want to look at that. <clears throat> it also it's not exactly the same thing, but it correlates to the fact that when you need help for something, God sends you that help and. Right at that time, it happens. When two events happen together. It's not exactly the same as as synchronicity. It's a bit different, I would say, but it's correlated to that concept where the universe makes um, events unfold for you in a positive way, in a great way, in a helpful way. I have also found that when I talk about my synchronicities, they become bigger and bigger and bigger, and I've seen that as well. It's not something I've I found no it's not something I found I've actually seen quite a few people talk about this that when you talk to others about your synchronicities you get more synchronicities happening all the time if you are tuned into these things they're going to happen more often and if you talk about them you're obviously tuned into them that's how it works it's interesting today I had another story pertaining to synchronicity I actually write down my synchronicities and in the past three weeks, I've had about, I've looked at my list, I've had, I've had over 10 synchronicities. What am I saying 10? I've had more like 20. Now, it's interesting, whenever I have synchronicities, I tend to have them double. I tend to have two within a very short period of time. So I had the one with the parallel universe, and then I had a synchronicity at the dentist when I found the mailbox, the post box, which was amazing. I was blown away. I had another one today. I was I was reminiscing about a certain friend of mine of the past who had who wasn't very kind to me. And whilst I was thinking about it, I was watching my favorite one of my favorite YouTubers, Nikki Sutton, and she says, "When somebody has trouble in their lives, they can't judge others, and they shouldn't be there to judge others, and you shouldn't take their judgment very seriously." I was like, "What?" And she said, they are not qualified to pass judgment on you because they have problems of their own. And of course, they, they just don't have the capacity and the professionalism to judge others. I was like, what? Nikki Sutton, how did you know exactly what I was needing right now? When I was reminiscing and a bit upset about what happened in the past. <laughs> wow. I was quite blown away. The one with the seagulls I had... Um, what other synchronicities I had? I had a synchronicity a couple of days ago. Um, wherever I went for a couple of days, I was seeing a certain number, which was very, very relevant to my life. And as I was thinking about it, I saw that number. I was blown to pieces. And then they, they dropped off a skip not far from here. And I, I couldn't believe the numbers I was seeing on there. The numbers I was seeing were the numbers which were very much pertaining to my, were totally relevant to my life. I have so many stories. I, I wrote them down. I don't remember them all, but I wrote them down. They're fascinating. My advice, write down your synchronicities. It's worth it. You're going to be blown away to how amazing you're going to feel when you see it. For too many years of my life, life just happened to me. I didn't see the amazing synchronicities all around me. I didn't see the heavenly divine messages all around me. God was always very kind to me. God was forever teaching me good lessons. And unfortunately, for too many years of my life, I... Okay, for many years of my life, I was very, very spiritual, very, very godly. And I did connect with all the messages God was sending me. But for too many years of my life, I wasn't. And I look back and I sort of bring back those old memories. This one comes to mind. I really need money quite badly it happened a while ago i need money quite badly and just then my my um mobile um cell phone provider told me look we're happy to give you an early upgrade and i had been begging them for an early upgrade for quite a while because i was quite excited about a certain phone i liked so 
yeah, it, that was a pretty divine, godly, um, godly, God sent gift. Because when I got the new phone, I got cash back and I sold quite a few of my of my old phones. I never even knew you could sell old phones. And I sold quite a few of my old phones and I really needed money at that time. And it just came in. God just sent in, God to the universe just sent in the, that gift of money. Fascinating stuff. What are you, what are your synchronicity stories? What are your heavenly universe guidance, universe stories which you have? Please share in the comment section down below. And do you want me to share more stories like this? Is this a topic you enjoy? Please leave that in the comment section down below. What do you think about today's video? Does do synchronicities excite you as well? Please leave in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy today's video? Please press that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And why not subscribe if you haven't already? It's great to subscribe. You get to see these videos right away when they come out. And I'm giving away a gift for my 100 subscribers. So why not? What do you got to lose? When you subscribe, make sure to press the, the bell button right next to it. Like that, you can see my videos every single day. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'm sending you lots and lots of love, happiness, and high frequency. I love you all. See you in my next video.